Roland Olivier, not present. The next speaker is Kevin Clark. Sir, you have five minutes. Good afternoon, everyone. First, I must thank my little boss up there. Yes, you, with that striped search. Because you're the one that brings me here. And you are the one I serve. As I challenge John Tory for the mayor of Toronto's job, it is that child that inspired me. Now, John wants you to think about Doug Ford. But the fact is, Doug Ford is a half time mayoral candidate. He hasn't even finished one full, one mayoral race. I am a five time mayoral candidate. I have faced Lassman, Miller, Ford. But yet, John, you would not face me. Why? Because you know you can't beat me democratically. You can beat Doug Ford because he has the same progressive conservative party that you used to lead. But you know, John Tory, if you let the media promote us equally, you don't stand a hope in hell in beating me unless you change your social policy. And that brings us to why I'm here today. I was here on June 28th, and at that time I was a resident in Paul Ainsley Ward. I did what John Tory wouldn't do with Toronto Community Housing. I did it with Canada's largest landlord, Capri Property. I filed a large amount of complaints with the city, and I send a copy of each complaint to you, John Tory. But yet, I was ordered evicted, thrown to the streets, not even given the rights as a dog. They said I had a disability that possesses me to write my name on election campaign signs and post them on the public roadway. And that disability was grounds for the Ontario government to order me homeless. And I took hell and I couldn't fight. For a full year I fought. And when the eviction order came, I sent you another letter and I said, John, don't let them take my life. I also sent a copy to Paul. And I also sent a copy to Gary Crawford when Capri in Deer Ward had so much problems that Gary Crawford says we will take them to court.